sit right here, sit in this passenger seat and take it in. Listen to this, son. This is a real car. This is what Ferrari is all about. You ready? Here we go. Oh, what? What? Does it get any better than this? I don't think so. The last ever naturally aspirated V8. Oh my god. Right. What's up guys? Hello. I am very, very excited for today because we're in one of my all-time favorite cars. The Ferrari 458 Speciale. And we're going to kick things off by driving it straight off the map because this is one of those cars that I, I can't do the whole walk around. I, you know, first off, I just want to get straight in and drive it, experience it. And then afterwards, we'll go around, look at all the things that make this so speciale and the spec of this one, which is just beautiful. First of all, let's drive. Here we are then. So I'm straight into manual mode, which is on a button down here. I've got my Manatino which you can have in different modes. So right now we're in wet, which means that the traction control is pretty strict with you. So this is, as the name indicates, for wet weather driving um, or, you know, the first time you drive uh, the car and you kind of just want to get used to it. Then you have sport mode, which is the equivalent, I guess, of normal or comfort um, for Ferrari. In Ferrari land, there's no such thing, especially in the hardcore versions like this. There's no such thing as normal mode. The equivalent would be this other button, which is bumpy road mode, which softens the suspension. And you can hear the valves are still closed in sport. If I flick it into race, all of a sudden, the valves open up and that V8 naturally aspirated, that is the key thing with this car. Naturally aspirated V8 is unleashed. And race lets you have a little more of a play without leaving you completely alone. It's still there, holding your hand just at a bit more of a distance. And all of a sudden the car is tickling you behind the neck to give it a proper go and have fun with it. Gonna let some of the cars go in front of us. Can I just say these seats are some of my favorite seats I've ever been in in a supercar. They hold you in properly. I think they look great. And they're this weird texture. I mean, we'll see this when we do the walk around. There's some weird texture, which right now is 34 degrees outside. It's quite nice because it doesn't heat up quite like leather. Completely irrelevant. Let's get back to driving. So this is what this car is about, right? Naturally aspirated V8, 9,000 RPM. You ready? Here we go. Oh! <laughs> what? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What a machine! This for me is as good as it gets. So I'm a big fan of the kind of 2005 to 2016, maybe 17 era of cars because technology was just getting at a point where you didn't have to worry about reliability as much anymore. Um, you had all the gadgets inside to make your life a lot easier, but we hadn't gone so far in technology that everything was getting stuck with turbos, a hybrid engine. We still had naturally aspirated engines, but you had things such as, in this case, the double clutch gearbox. So this is peak as far as I'm concerned, because you've got all the goodies that you actually want, but none of the ones that you don't really want. So you still got that naturally aspirated instant delivery of power. And I mean, Guys, we all know that what makes these engines so special is the noise, so... You got that right there, ready whenever you want it. And those downshifts, this gearbox feels like A, a musical instrument, but B, like it already knows before you do what you want it to do. And then obviously this being the track version, of the 458. You have the 458 Italia, the 458 Spider, and then this, the Speciali, and then the Holy Grail is the Speciali Aperta. A water machine. Let me open this window up a little bit so you can hear it more. I mean, does it get any better than this? I don't think so. This is why. I think this is this is peak Ferrari. This is the last ever naturally aspirated V8 
mid-engined Ferrari. This one with a double clutch. All of the tricks in terms of like the very modern traction control systems. Woo! It is physical. This is the kind of car that our generation can show our grandkids and say, sit right here, sit in this passenger seat and take it in. Listen to this, son. This is a real car. This is what Ferrari is all about. <laughs> oh my God. It is, there's just nothing like it. Unreal, unreal. I absolutely adore it. Unfortunately for me, I'm not the only person to adore it this much. A lot of people like these, and so they've flown up in value. For a good one now, it's around 400,000 euros. An Aperta, which, I mean, the experience must be just next level, is eight, nine, even a million euros. So, yeah. I mean, they're getting more and more out of reach as time goes by, but you know what? I think they, they should. This is one car for which, you know, I'm not angry about them going up in value so much. I think they completely deserve it. Just what a machine this is. The steering is obviously very, very direct, like all Ferraris, but particularly these kind of hardcore track bred ones. The brakes are exceptional. They actually nick those off of the LaFerrari, so it doesn't really get much better than that. The interior is simplistic, but does exactly what you want it to do. We're about to see that in a second. But it's just, it's all about the engine. 594 brake horsepower. I mean, loads of power, not much weight. It's very quick, it's, it's plenty quick enough. I mean, honestly, at this point, who cares too much? It's more just about the experience. And um, there is absolute, I will give you my word, there is no way you'll be disappointed in this experience. It is phenomenal. And I think there are very, very few cars being made right now 2023 onwards that will get this close that will give you this kind of an experience where you're both terrified but smiling at the same time where your ears will be bleeding but your heart will be throbbing with love <laughs> is outrageously spectacularly fantastic and i want one so badly like we all do anyways Let's go back home, have a sit down, and look at what makes this so special design-wise as well. And, you know, the interior, and just have a little poke around, basically. And maybe give it a little bit of a rest, because uh, that's been quite an intense little drive for this speciality. And here it is, the beast from outside. What a stunner. The 458 for me has always been just a stunning looking car, but this speciality with its added kind of naughtiness, beefiness, just looks exceptional, and this spec, is gorgeous, there's carbon everywhere. Carbon on the wing mirrors, carbon on the Ferrari logo on the side here, on this little bit, there's carbon even on these aerodynamic details on the side. I mean, this is just gonna get stone chipped to death, but nonetheless, carbon, it just looks so cool, this car. This spec is nice. I'm not a fan of white cars usually, but I really like this spec with the painted black stripes. These, yeah, they're not wrapped on, they're painted. That is an expensive option. Now there's carbon everywhere and you can see the engine so clearly in the latest in the 296 or in the F8 or anything like that. The engine's so low down, you can't really actually see that much of it. Whereas here, everything's on display. You can geek out properly at your carbon fiber, four and a half liter V8 right there. Naturally aspirated yet again. I'm just gonna repeat it because it's so important. Now a few changes compared to the normal 458. You had the triple exhaust outlets right in the middle here. Those have been split into these dual outlets, which are very, very warm right now, but that allows you to have this much bigger diffuser. You've also got uh, here to evacuate some of the uh, uh, warm air coming from the engine. Uh, so that's completely new as well. Obviously trying to get as much cool air as possible to the engine where you can. New rims, new rim design on the 458, which I think look fantastic. And just look at the size of that rear caliper. Straight off of the LaFerrari. I mean, that is a rear caliper right there. Carbon ceramic is just enormous and does the job beautifully. And look at the front ones, gorgeous. Um, then, yeah, I mean, all sorts of changes. The front is really recognizable because first of all, you've got the stripes, but then you've got these air outlets and these extra kind of 
little winglets on the side right here, um, which look awesome. And again, more aerodynamic details. And you do have some really cool active aero. So these will get pushed back and kind of let more air through when necessary when driving. And that's what I meant earlier when I, when I was saying, you know, the technology, you've got all this modern technology which allow you to have a really nice, pleasant driving experience, but then you've got all the drama of the more old school, naturally aspirated um, engine. So that's why this hits a complete sweet spot for me. And I don't know, maybe for you guys too, maybe not. There are still cars, I mean, you know, I was thinking of the Hurricane STO, I've never driven one, but that's still a naturally aspirated, um, you know, supercar with all of the, in their case, it's the Alla aerodynamic systems. It's got the double clutch gearbox and it must be pretty special. So this interior, let's start with the steering wheel. So the 458 was, I think the first, maybe with the F12, where they introduced all the buttons on the steering wheel. So you got your indicators on the steering wheel, you got your lights, you got your wipers, and then the Manatino and bumpy road mode buttons that we spoke about earlier. Um, you then have two screens at each side of your rev counter. So the left one is for all your slightly more technical car info, and that's controlled through these buttons right here, which also have your cruise control, uh, which is pit speed. Nice little, um, you know, wink towards F1, which I think that's a really cool little detail. Obviously carbon all over the place. You got your shift lights right here on the steering wheel. And then these buttons right here control your media screen. So you'll have your nav, your media, your volume, everything is controlled from these little buttons here. Your aircon, essential right now because it is 34 degrees. Um, yeah, this, I have to admit, doesn't feel quite up to standard for a car of this kind of price range. Um, you know, I know they've gone up in price a bit, but even when they came out, they were hugely expensive. So yeah, I don't know. This is, was the same in the, I believe in the 430, but then I know in the 458, obviously standard, but then also in the 488. And yeah, that just looks old and doesn't feel particularly, you know, high quality or anything. Oh, chill out. There it goes. Love this structure, which is, you know, for anything to do with your gearbox really and your launch mode. You see this in the F12 TDF and the LaFerrari. Um, really nice kind of little carbon sculpture to hold these. Really cool detail. And this I find hilarious. It almost looks like knee pads for your passenger when you brake so their knees can just go and hit there. Uh, white stitching, contrast stitching in this one. And then these amazing seats that we were talking about earlier which are great in these warm temperatures with the Cavallino stitched in white and these uh, really cool seat belts, the harnesses, which uh, look awesome. They're not the most convenient because as soon as you have someone who's bigger or smaller get into the car, they take up quite a while to adjust, but they look awesome. And the full carbon fiber doors, a little bit of storage back there, but that's pretty much it. There are still cars like this out there, but they're getting more and more rare and that's reflected in their pricing which is just going up and up and up, unfortunately for us. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Subscribe if you aren't already. It allows me to make more videos of this type and share this kind of experience with you. I had this car here. Um, I'm actually about to rush to the airport, but I thought I'd just take it for a blast and share that moment with you. So hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Take care, bye-bye.